ladies and gentlemen, we have a one of a kind Mark X to grace the Kenyan roads. In fact, we can argue that this one is the first of its kind in Kenya today. And we are glad to have it, courtesy of Auto Select by Conversations. And if you want to see this car by there, you can just pop in here at the Waterfront Mall. And because Conversations is that channel that will guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience, I'm going to show you why this is not just your usual Mark X. I'll be your host, Eric Wokabi, Eric with a CK. Do follow me at a personal level on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Let me tell you about this car. So if you're buying a Mark X in Kenya, you'll probably get it uh, in uh, several trim levels. Uh, the most common is the 250S, uh, which uh, comes in its basic, the really basic version that doesn't even have alloys. Then there's the premium. Uh, if you're lucky enough, you can get the GS. This particular one is the GS, but a little bit spiced up. The other trim level you can get is the GRMN. Now the GRMN is actually a GR version of the Mark X, but GRMN in full means uh, Gazoo Racing, tuned by Meister of the Nabagring. However, let's go back to the GS. So if you're buying a Mark X from between 2014 all the way to 2016, it will probably have the, the bad GS. That is for the GS version. But from, the, from 2017 all the way to 2019, when the Mark X was discontinued, it will be the GR Sport Mark X. So this particular one is a 2016 and that is why it's the GS version of the Mark X. So how do you tell that this car is a real GS version of the Mark X? Because most of the guys will slap on some mods and some badges. And this one, doesn't even come with a GS badge. So how do you tell it's a GS? Number one, all Mark X GS versions come in a three-piece body kit from uh, the bumper, uh, you have the trunk spoiler or the boot spoiler and the spoiler on the roof line. The other thing is it comes with also uh, a body kit. So you are able to tell that it's a GS because of the body kit that it comes in. Now let's talk about this particular one. This, this particular one is a GS variant. And by the way, the other way you tell that it's a GS and a real GS is if you open the door and inside the seats have a red stitching so that tells you it's a GS and if the badge is not on the body you get it on the just below the doors you get the GS badge and that tells you that this is a GS uh, version of the Mark X however the question here is but this car is a lower uh, probably lower than the standard set by your drunken uncle asking for your CV. Yes, or even lower than uh, the ethics of our politicians. So how does even this, how does this car drive in the streets of Nairobi? How did it get here? And by the way, this car drove all the way from Nairobi. So now this is a GS but with some aftermarket mods from Japan. And it's, they are very exciting mods because they make this car very, very, very JDM. And for most Toyota purists or JDM performance purists, they might know some of these things because they are very Japanese. They, are, they have Japanese written all over them. So let's start with the suspension. So this car, in spite of the fact that it's a GS version, it has some several aftermarket, uh, you know, additions. Eh? So this is a remote that is used to adjust the air suspension on this car. The the, to be specific, the air suspension on this car is the Air Force air suspension. Yeah, so this is how it works. So you pick the remote and just press any button it will automatically come on and then so if you want you can raise the front you can raise the rear independently but if you want to raise it for you to drive on the nairobi streets you just press all and then press this button and magic happens so you have to press it several times because of uh, you know the air suspension tank so that is the normal driving height. But what if I want, I've approached a bump and the leap is a bit too low. So I'll get back to my remote and I'll press F for front and then I'll raise the front leap. See? So now 
uh, I can raise it all the way to 114. So I'm currently at 96, 97. So now it's supposed to raise itself to the standard of a Mark X. But one thing I want you to note is that I'm only raising the front. The rear is still lowered. So that's the that's how impressive the air suspension setup on this car is. So if I want to raise the rear of the vehicle, I'll just press R and then I'll raise it. See? So irrespective of it being a GS, it's going to cruise on the streets of Nairobi just like any other Mark X. You only have to really watch for you know the leap it's uh, it doesn't go over most bumps but if you're careful enough it's going to get there but what if you want it to go very low maybe you turn up at a car meet and you want this car to steal the show because that's what it's meant to do so you just press all and then we lower it so that is how low it can go now that we have talked about the suspension uh imepanda so nizime <laughs> Under the hood of this Mark X is your Kawaida uh, 4GR FSE that is a V6, uh, 2.5 liters of displacement. It's supposed to ideally give around 200 horsepower, but this one can push a little bit more. Let's talk about the accessories on this car. We start with the color. Now, the color, you do not see your usual Mark X in this color. This is turquoise green. At least it's not burgundy. What do you... What, what color does Ibrahim call that? Yeah, so this is turquoise green. The body kit, I forgot to tell you, on this particular one is the Rowan body kit. So Rowan, uh, Rowan bumper, Rowan side skirts, Rowan diffuser, and a Rowan spoiler at the end. But when you get into this car, what do you find? You get an Avenue Performance steering wheel. Yeah, so it doesn't come with a normal uh, Kawaida steering wheel on it. And this Avenue performance steering wheel is light, it's smaller, and it makes the car feel really sporty. The other thing, if you buy the Mark X GS or GR, it's a bit uncomfortable, just a little bit because of the suspension setup. And that is because it runs on coilies. But however, this one runs on air suspension. So in, in spite of the fact that it will give you very sporty handling, it will also make sure that your ride is a little bit more comfortable. Let's talk about the wheels. So this one is running on the original VSXX rims from Japan. Yeah, so these are not your Kawaii, they are 19 inch. And what covers them? The tires. These are Nito 555. Genuine Nito 555 tires, again, from Japan, and their tagline is fueled by enthusiasts. So these are tires that are meant to hit the truck. So if you're driving this car, if you're buying this car, you get all these mods, you know, from Japan. So you're not getting anything substandard from China. And the other thing, this car sounds really, really, really good. Why does it sound so good? This is because it features a Kakimoto exhaust setup with four tips that makes it purr like a cat sana sana v6s generally sound really nice but now this one with the kakimoto exhaust it makes it even sound better and uh, what better way to make to what better icing to have on a cake that looks this good uh, let's see if there is anything different on this mark x in the interior that is you know a bit extra and before we go to the interior, what are the other design cues for the Mark X GS? It has clear or smoked taillights. Yeah, so with those design cues, you can tell that this one is, uh, it's an actual GS. It's not a badged GS. You have the trunk spoiler, and if, you, if you're keen, you'll tell that it's different from the trunk that is done by Cafengo Auto Spares. So these a GS um, spoiler and then you also have this other spoiler on the rooftop so uh, other design cues clear tail lights and uh, the diffuser plus the four Kakimoto exhaust tips and now inside here you have the air suspension set up by Air Force well now here is the big compressor and if you want to let out the you know the humidity or uh, any condensation any water you just pull off this pin here it looks like a grenade <laughs> but so you don't have to be worried about it. In fact, but anyway, this is the normal 
care suspension setup. This is what raises and lowers the vehicle. And as you can see, it has four tubes for the four airbags. So you can independently control them. And that is the beauty of this particular Mark X. So what we are going to do right now is do the sound test so that you can hear how good the Kakimoto exhausts sound. So let's, let's recap, how do you know that these are GS Mark X? One is the three-piece uh, body kit, that is probably a row and body kit, uh, the bumper, the side skirts, and the trunk spoiler or the boot spoiler. The other thing is the red stitching on the seats. The other thing that is quite uh, conspicuous is the clear or smoked taillights. So that tells you that this is a GS. And your mana was a letter mark X stock, one a kaizo mata clear, one a kaizi v2 now, one a semani GS. But a real GS mark X will always speak for itself. So what we do now is we actually talk about the interior when we are driving this car. Hey, gentlemen, yes. Tuko hapa kumunyama. A very awesome solid car, Kabi. I love the steering wheel, it's very sporty. Yes. But now the, the, the only the only setback is it's very uncomfortable. It, it, no, it's not it, it the is suspension, yes. But actually the suspension is better than coilovers, but the coilovers are yes. uncomfortable. Yes. But this one you can feel mm -hmm. the car is connected to the road. To the road, yes. It's it's adhesive. Yes. You can feel the road and that Till is what it, every yeah. purist wants. Exactly. Yeah. And the blue, the blue theme is going on, Eric. Now, I don't mean to The blue theme it's is not blue; it's turquoise. Oh, it's turquoise. You call yeah. it turquoise blue? <laughs> no, turquoise green. Oh, turquoise green. Yes. So that's just what I'm saying. As long yeah. as you yeah. see burgundy, yeah. <laughs> the other to judge you are in. So turquoise green. That yeah. is the color. Yes. Ah, fantastic! I wish to engage Android Radio the way you always put it. It will have complemented this thing very well. But regardless. I think it's a fantastic car to sit in. Seats, bucket seats. Ah, it's not shika. That's the GS. They tuck you in. See, zile za za makex za kawi dama zile za kafengo uta spares. Unai gari ina gypsum. Eh, ina tiles. Yes. Do you know what uh, most most makex, especially when you know ile basic, two fifty s basic. Yes. When I endanga ko hardo ya ko ngai tisha tiles. Mm. <laughs> but these are proper markets. These are proper markets. One thing I love about it, Kapsa, like I am deep into it, mm -hmm. is there is a striking balance in terms of the modifications versus what you have in the interior. Yes. It is not too much, it's not too little. Like there is a striking balance. Or me kupatia just what is enough. In in a normal day, it could yeah. just be a normal Markex. Yeah. But when you need it to be something different, it will be different. It will be different. But I love the suspension because it's a show car. Basically, yes. this one is a car that you want to drive if you want to get noticed. Exactly. Sana sana se wanaenda masinga. Well, people who want to pull up and actually announce your arrival. Yes. Kwanza wana fika pale una ilalisha. Kabla ya kulalisha warik. Wambie watu wamekuja pale wakipiga ndoro. Uh -huh. Ukifanya eh, review. Bana, eh. bana. Guys just want people are dying to see eh. this car. Especially the ladies. Yeah, the, eh. Now I understand. Yes. Why, why watu wa Marketson wa kunywa? Eh kwa hiyo watu wa Marketson wa kunywa by the way. Ah. It's understandable now. Yes. Because ladies seem to be very adhesive to Marketson. Yes. Ah, those ladies who are not having any other thing away from this. Sasa challenge ya hii gari ni moja eh. and we are about to experience it. Yes. Yes, in a inuka hatukatai. Lakini uh, you have to be very keen. Yes. Kama hasa hapa hatuwezi tokea hapa. Eh. Lazima tukue manyongist. Eh. So, eh, you must hope. take care of the lip. Na hope ni kuwa nyongist. Ah, spend kuwa nyongist. Bana mimi napenda kupitia hata kama ni kuwa. Ana ito Eric, leo umepatikana, umepata na gari yenye lazima you play like you. I think you have a clean the good thing about this car is that it steals attention. Very much. It steals attention. And I told you it's a good thing and both a bad thing. 
Sasa zingine tu nataka tutoe kwa nyimbo tujue utaki watu wakusumbue. Utaki watu wakusumbue. Lakini kila wakati, hey, good car. Yeah, good car, nice car, man. Yes, can I take a picture, man? Ai. Sasa unajua kwa sababu ni mtu mkarimu. Na vitu si baba. Lakini na mwingine ni hii. Eh. Na mwingine ni ati you can't do things private. Yes, this one. Hawezi fanya sasa hiyo kitu. Hawezi fanya usharati. <laughs> No, hayezi kuwa usharati. Inaweza kuwa unaenda kuona mdodo Jule. Eh, ah, that is the private one. The things that people want to be private, they are always bad. So you cannot no, steal with no, this girl. No, because Ibrahim you want a private life. Does it mean you 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 Does it mean that you you are, you do bad things? But one thing about the the, the steering is very firm. Yes. It is very firm. It connects you to the road. Mm, it is like, very firm. It's yeah. very sporty. Mm. Uh, So I was telling Ibrahim mm. Ibrahim was saying that basically this car ni kama wewe wewe na hii gari mnafanana in one thing si vieno mwezi iba kila mahali ukienda ah mimi yeri yani yeri imagine now this car yes. wewe umetembea mahali fulani pale Roisambo eh yeah. na hakuna anga paki ah hii kisha una paki nje hii picha zitapiga ah 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 hii picha zitapiga una check majamaa wako pale hanging out with the markets gs <laughs> where in Roisambo in... ah kama mirema <laughs> Unasikia unapigiwa? Unafanya nini Mirema? Nilikuwa <laughs> nilikuwa nimekuja kusalimia rafiki yangu. Na mtu gani? Rafiki yako mgani anaishi Mirema? Ndivaja zile dwadri. Ndivaja story ya jamba. Sasa hiyo ndio ubaya wa igari. Eh yeah. yeah. lakini kama ni mtu anaona mambo mbaya, it's equally a good car Eric. Yes. Tufanye 0 to 100 kwa kufanya mambo mbaya na power lakini sasa hapa itabidi tumeiweka sport mode kabisa she's in sport mode she's in sport mode and i'm ready for you launch it when you want wow wewe you have the numbers yes I have the numbers huh 11 seconds 11 <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but did we push it the way it's supposed to be pushed? Yeah. I think mm-hmm. I think Eric it is a Makex. Mm-hmm. Remember Makex is become consistent. Other things zingine zote tumefanya zimekuwa around there 11 seconds. So no need for a retake. No need for a retake. Okay. 11 seconds is decent enough for a Makex. Team score how much would you give this car? A 10. I think definitely for me it's not certain. Certain. Reliability it has the looks it's yes. fast. You know. Yes, it's a 10. And it's priced very well considering the accessories that it has. He got you kitwa accessories by the way he got in a deal. Lose the and these are not Chinese stuff. These are pure Japanese. This is pure JPM. Yes. If you look at uh, Avenue Performance Exhaust, uh, Avenue Performance steering wheel, uh, Kakimoto exhaust, uh, those the rims themselves, the Nito tires Uh, the, the, body kit. the body kit they are the 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 aftermarket no body kit comes together with gs oh. the air suspension kit yes. basically gari ita ita, ita baki bayas makex ya kawaida kabisa and uh, we can say that this is this is a deal it's actually a, a very good deal so you said watu watembea auto select watu watembea auto select waona mm. hii gari yes iko hapa kale nikiingia tu kwa mall mm. waterfront unaona mm. hiyo gari hapo mm. in fact itakuwa tunaenda kuiweka kwa mall mbele katikati mbele katikati kwa sababu wata, watu wa waterfront walituambia sisi ndio mabasi sisi ndio kusema eh, sasa pale katikati ya mall inaenda kukaa chini inaenda na kuloa standards kama 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 watu wa hiyo place nilikuwa nakwambia una pack bas twende tuwalize hili eh tuwalize hili bana okay